collectives and rappers. This includes the likes of Zone 2 and Quengface, 150 and M24 and Low Ski, hailing from the Harlem Spartans Collective. South London in recent years has been stereotyped as a dangerous part of London, with a particular borough within South London gaining a lot of recognition for how dangerous it is. This borough being the London Borough of Lambeth, with Lambeth even being rated one of the most dangerous London boroughs. Lambeth's crime rate is a Nigga, fuck Sky Boy. <laughs> yeah, nigga, fuck Sky Boy and his numbers. Around 144 crimes per 1,000 people, which is statistically higher than surrounding boroughs. In my last video, I also discussed a rivalry within Lambeth, this being the war between LTH and UTH. However, only roads away from this war lies another ongoing gang. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Listen, fuck Sky Boy, nigga. We rocking with UK Drill Plug. Yeah, we fuck with the plug. We ain't fucking with Sky Boy. Sky Boy police. Yeah, fuck Sky Boy. <laughs> between multiple gangs. This is the ongoing rivalry between the collectives 410 and 150, and the opposition collectives Cuckoo and Harlem Spartans based within Kennington. This war has been going on for years, and due to all of the sides involved gaining mainstream UK drill success, the incidents that occur in the streets are often mentioned within UK drill songs. Now, Harlem Spartans are a large street gang based around the Kennington Park, Penwith Manor and Kennings Estates, within the London borough of Lambeth, SE11. The gang also goes by Harlem and Harlem O, or Harlem O, only. The Harlem Spartans gang is relatively new, with the set emerging around the 2010s. With a lot of the original Harlem Spartan members being aligned with another gang, this gang is known as Cuckoo, or Black Prince. Cuckoo is based around Black Prince Road within Kennington. They would originally go by BYM or Bang Your Mash in the early 2000s. However, the younger generation of this gang would create new sets. Examples of these include K-Town and Kennington Black Mob. A lot of Cuckoo's youngers would also rep Harlem Spartans, with both of these gangs originally being one. However, they have both split into two sets that are now very closely affiliated, often sharing the same beef. Both of these gangs, Beef 410, 150, 37, and Claptown or CT. However, we can't talk about Harlem Spartans and Cuckoo without talking about their opposition. Now, 410 is a large street gang based around the Myatt's Field Estate within Brixton, SW9. However, the gang has also become active around nearby Vassal Road and Cowley Blocks. The area that 410 takes up actually borders Kennington and Harlem Spartans, with both of the gangs being extremely close. The 410 gang would originally be referred to as OC, which stood for Organized Crime. This crew would be linked with PDC based around the Angeltown Estate, which is where the Gang 150 is from. Around this time, OC had a rivalry with Peckham, and BYM or Black Prince based around Kennington, which we just talked about being the old generation of Cuckoo. It would be around the late 2000s that PDC and another gang based around the Summerleaton Estate known as MZ would disband, with both of these gangs becoming extinct. Following this, the younger generation of both gangs would form a new alliance of gangs referred to as Gas Gang. Around this time, Gas Gang would actually have a minor tension with OC, with disses being sent towards each gang oh, within the surprised. underground music made by these gangs. OC members would drop a song titled Hard Bars and would send shots to young members of Gas Gang. Gas Gang members would actually respond in a song they made titled Harder Bars, with them even using the same beat. However, Gas Gang members and OC would dead the beef and would become affiliated. However, later during the early 2010s, the Gas Gang and OC name would die out after lots of media attention with new younger generations emerging this included OC becoming 410 and Gas Gang becoming a collection of new gangs however the most prominent of these would be 150 who I will be including with 410 in this video so for simplicity sake I'll include 410 and 150 versus Cuckoo and Harlem Spartans popular members of 410 and 150 include Skengdo M24 and AM whilst on the other side popular members of Harlem Spartans and Cuckoo include Lowski Oboy and SD however you may be wondering why these groups of gangs actually have a violent rivalry with each other. Now, during the early days of both gangs, OC and Cuckoo wouldn't actually have a rivalry, with both of the gangs actually being neutral towards each other. However, the murder of an OC member who was only 15 named Tiny Alien would cause both sides to actively beef, with this murder then leading to the beef between 410 and Cuckoo Harlem as we see today. On the 9th of June 2006, a member of OC known as Tiny Alien would go onto Black Prince territory, with him allegedly venturing onto their territory in order to expand the OC gang's territory. Members of BYM would see this, and two members would corner Tiny Alien. These two members would retrieve knives, and would stab Tiny Alien multiple times, with one of the wounds even piercing his heart, resulting in the blade then snapping. Following this attack, Tiny Alien would be rushed to hospital. However, he would be pronounced dead, snapping fully in multiple times. Nigga broke the knife in him?
with one of the wounds even piercing his heart, resulting in the blade then snapping. Following this attack, Tiny Alien would be rushed to hospital. However, he would be pronounced dead. Following his death, members of OC... Alien would be rushed to hospital. However, he would be pronounced dead. Following his death, members of OC would post tribute images of Tiny Alien, with one of these photos including Tiny Alien being crouched whilst holding a shotgun towards the camera. This then led news channels to start reporting on the gang war, with articles even being titled, The Life and Death of a Gangsta. Following the death of Tiny Alien, a murder investigation would be launched. This would see the arrest and sentencing of a BYM member named Abu Sarpong. He would be arrested and charged with the murder, with him later being sentenced to youth custody for life with a minimum of 14 years. Rest in peace, Tiny Alien. It would be as a result of Tiny Alien's death that both sides would actively begin to beef. With this rivalry still continuing today, this is crazy to think that just one act of violence has now led to decades of beef and multiple people being killed. Following the death of Tiny Alien, the Gas Gang Alliance would become a lot more prominent, with OC becoming allied with Gas Gang. 2008 would roll around, and a prominent member of OC named Ratty would sadly fall victim to the streets. On the 14th of March, 2008, a 19-year-old member of OC named Raddy would be returning home from his friend's house around the Mayats Field estate. However, what he didn't know was that alleged BYM GMs would ride out onto OC territory. They would spot Raddy and would shoot him in the head. The attackers would flee, leaving Raddy to die. Police and emergency services would be called following the attack. However, despite their best attempts to save Raddy, he would sadly be pronounced dead hours later, with a murder investigation being launched. Heads up. Mm -mm -mm attempts to save Raddy, he would sadly be pronounced dead hours later, with a murder investigation being launched, however despite a massive police investigation. Till this day, nobody has actually been charged for the murder, although police did charge a man who allegedly supplied the gun used in the attack. This man would be handed 12 years due to his involvement. However, the killers of Raddy are still free. Rest in peace, Raddy. Following the death of Raddy, members of OC would begin to pay their respects to him in music and on social media, with a member of OC named Kurtz dropping a tribute song to Raddy titled, It's Peak. This was a full tribute song, and this just shows how loved Ratty was to other OC members. Around 2009, OC and Gas Gang would be focusing most of their beef towards Peckham, as they were actually a part of the Brixton vs Peckham War, which has been labeled one of the most infamous gang rivalries in London. However, this video isn't about Brixton and Peckham, but if you would like a video about Brixton vs Peckham, drop it in the comments. It would be Maybe around you know the early 2010s that, that, that many prominent OC members would leave the road life with a- Nigga, drop that! Nigga. Tell about if you want to leave it in the comments, nigga. You know niggas want that new set of youngers emerging. This younger generation would go by 410. Gas Gang would also die out, with a new gang becoming prominent. This gang is What's referred up? to as 150 and has become very well known in the drill scene. 150 would continue their affiliation with 410, no, with them mostly sharing the same beef. Members of 410 would be quick to start dropping music. An example of this would be a freestyle session dropped on a YouTube platform known as Quiet Pack. Now, around the early 2010s, the BYM name would die out, and a new set of youngers would start repping Black Prince. This generation would go by Cuckoo. The main influence of this name was the Chicago gang, Cuckoo Gang. They would also go by BP, or Black Prince, around this time. Only streets away from Cuckoo, another gang would be formed around 2014. This gang would be referred to as Harlem Spartans. These two gangs would be very closely allied from the start, with them often sharing the same beef. During the early days of the beef, Harlem wasn't actually involved as much, with Cuckoo mainly beefing 410. However, Harlem would have to pick a side, and they would choose to side with Cuckoo, with Harlem members becoming involved. Around this time, Time, stabbings and shootings would be very so common, with news slow. channels beginning to report on the violence. It would be around 2014 that UK Drill was becoming very prominent, with the likes of 6, 7, and 150 sending shots for each other in early drill tracks. Around this time, 150 would mostly be focusing their beef towards 6, 7, with it becoming very deadly. However, I have done a video on this rivalry, linked above. 410 would end 2014, with rappers dropping songs like Four Doors Coming in September 2014. This song featured the rappers BT, Tiny Sykes, and Rendo. This this song would gain a lot of attention in the underground drill scene, with it currently sitting on around 1.4 million views. However, it wouldn't be until around 2016 that 410 and Harlem Spartans would both blow in the drill scene. Around 2015, a member of 410 named Dreads would be buying food. However, what he didn't know was that Harlem and Cuckoo members would be in search of any rivals. They would spot him buying food, and a fight would ensue between the members. This ended in Dreads being stabbed in the face by the members. However, luckily, Dreads would survive. This incident is often mentioned in songs by Harlem and Cuckoo, with Low Ski rapping on a song titled War, saying, And Dreads got stabbed in the face, I swear all he wanted was a steak and rice. 
This is just one of the many incidents of violence between the gangs. 2015 would be a dangerous year in the beef, with a 150 member being backdoored by his own friend and being killed. This member has historically been mocked and is well known as Gora. On the 16th of June 2015, a member of 150 named Gora, who was actually very close to popular rapper Sneakbo, would meet with another member of 150 named Shabo. Now, previously, Shabo would lend Gora money following his release from prison. These two members were actually really close. However, when Shabo would be looking for his money back, Gora couldn't pay it. Shabo would then organize to meet Gora in Brixton. Gora would park his car on the same street Shabo lived. Shabo would go into his house whilst Gora was parked down the road. Shabo would then arm himself with a gun and would drive his moped to Gora. The two members would have a conversation. However, it would end with Shabo shooting Gora multiple times. Gora would be seen running up the street before dropping to the ground as a result of the wounds he had sustained. With a bullet passing through both lungs, and then also the bullet would pierce a major blood vessel near the heart. Shabo would flee following this, with police and paramedics arriving on the scene shortly after. However, despite their best attempts to save Gora, he would sadly be pronounced dead moments later, with another murder investigation being launched. Now, police would arrest Shabo days later. Originally, Shabo would admit that he was on the scene. However, he denied shooting Gora. However, investigators would attach him to the shooting, and he would be charged with the murder of Gora. He would be found guilty and would be handed a life sentence with a minimum of 27 years. Damn. Nigga killed his friend over some money. I know it wasn't nothing crazy that you got to kill him about. Nigga probably was hating. Probably was hating on a nigga. Some, because some. you going to boom your mouth. I don't know, bro. It's crazy. If that's your friend, bro, like. It had to be some bad, bro. I know it wasn't no fucking millions, bro. Killing nobody about no 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5,000. Nigga ain't killing nobody about that, bro. But niggas will. Niggas will, though. <laughs> yeah, niggas will. So let me say it, because I won't. Niggas will, though. <laughs> During the sentencing of Shabo, he would actually laugh and would wave to his family in the court. Rest in peace, Gora. Following the death of Gora, members of Harlem Spartans... Did he laugh at his friend? Like, that wasn't his friend. That's all that means. ...handed a life sentence with a minimum of 27 years. During the sentencing of Shabo, he would actually laugh and would wave to his family in the court. Rest in peace, Gora. Following the death of Gora, members of Harlem Spartans and Cuckoo would begin to mock the incident heavily. In Lowski's breakout track, Hazards, he even raps, shoddy just oh so long, looking like Gora's coffin. Another yeah. member of Harlem Spartans yeah. named SD actually frequently mocks the incident on social media platforms like Snapchat, where he posted saying, do bro first if he act like Shabo. Gora is still often mentioned today, and it's just... Just a crazy situation. Rest in peace. It would be following the death of Gora that both Harlem Spartans and 410 would begin to blow in the UK drill scene. In March 2016, three members of Harlem Spartans would drop a cold UK drill song. This was titled Jug and featured rappers Low Ski, TG Million, and Biss. These rappers and song would gain a lot of attention with it currently sitting on around 1.6 million views. However, Harlem Spartans weren't the only group starting to gain attention. 410 would also drop a UK drill anthem titled Kick Down Doors, which would feature rappers why Rendo nowadays known as Skangdo and AM. This song would gain loads of attention and currently sits on just over 2 million views, with a lot of the comments talking about AM's ridiculous flow and insane wordplay. It was clear to see that both sides were musically talented and had potential. However, the numbers they were pulling around this time would be nothing compared to 2017. However, despite the music made by these gangs, the violence was still continuing in the streets. Around the beginning of 2016, Harlem Spartans members would be lurking on 410's territory being Myatt's field. They would spot a member of 410 named Sparks. The Harlem members would then strip and beat up Sparks all whilst recording on camera. Following this incident, 410 members would be looking for a get-back. And only a week later, 410 members would ride out to Harlem's block. They would catch a member of Harlem Spartans named YB. He would be stabbed in the head by the members and would be rushed to hospital. However, luckily, YB would survive the attack. Nowadays, it's been rumored YB got de-recruited from Harlem Spartans and is working on a legal path. The violence in the streets would continue in 2016, with a member of 410 10 named Kiars being stabbed 22 times by Harlem and Cuckoo members whilst he was on his way home from work. Kiars would luckily survive the attack. However, he is often mentioned in Harlem Spartan songs. An example of this would be on a song titled Olympic Chinging, where Low Ski would rap, I don't know how that prick never died, gave 22 wounds but the boy resisting. Kiars was also prominent around OC days, with him even having a few songs in the early 2010s. It would also be in 2016 that Low Ski from Harlem Spartans would drop one of, if not, the most legendary UK drill song. This 
being a song titled DJ Khaled, which would instantly blow and currently sits on around 10 million views. Kill. Around the end of 2016 and start of 2017, two younger members from the 410 Collective would begin to gain attention. This included a member named Skengdo and another member named AM. These two rappers would often be seen chilling together and would even start dropping duo songs together, with fans beginning to point out how cool both rappers were on the same song. 2017 would begin. This was a huge year for both gangs in the drill scene. At the start of 2017 on the 27th of January, AM and Skengdo would drop a UK drill anthem titled Crash. This song would have a huge Game impact Center around 2017. Person. Crash would gain loads of attention, with it currently sitting on around 7.2 million views. Only a month later, they would drop another song together, this being a song titled Foolishness. Once again, this song would blow and currently sits on 4 million views, and it would be a month after this that they would drop their biggest and most impactful song, this being Skengdo and AM's Mad About Bars, which would blow and gain a new level of success, with it currently sitting at 30 million views on YouTube. These two rappers had one of the most insane runs in the UK drill scene, with them pretty much dropping a new UK drill banger every month from January 2017 all the way until December 2017, with Skengdo and AM even getting a feature from Chicago rap legend Chief Keef. However, 410 weren't the only collective making noise in South London. 150 was also blowing up with the likes of Styx, M24, and MDARG. 67 would be blowing up with rappers like LD, Dimzy, and ASAP. Similarly, Harlem Spartans would also blow around this time, with rappers like Low Ski, Biss, and Mizermac. At the beginning of 2017, Harlem Spartans rappers would link up and would drop one of the most influential UK drill songs till date, this being Kennington Where It Started, which would feature the rappers Biss, Active, Blanco, and Mizermac. This song blew and currently sits on 24 million views. This song has become one of the biggest UK drill songs in recent years, with nearly every fan of UK drill knowing this song. Harlem wouldn't stop there, and in the summer months, Low Ski would drop a UK drill banger titled Hazards. This song would be quick to blow and currently sits on around 11 million views. If anything was clear, it was that both of these groups were having an insane run in the UK drill scene, with Drake even beginning to notice both groups. In 2017, TG Million from Harlem Spartans would get into a car chase with a 410 Drake. member. The cars would get into a collision, and TG would jump out and start attacking the 410 member. The 410 member would be stabbed multiple times and would nearly die. However, he would luckily survive in hospital, with TG Million going on to be arrested. He would be charged for the attack and would be handed 12 years in prison. During 2018, a member of Cuckoo known as O Boy would have one of the funniest diss and reply back to backs with 410 members on songs. O Boy would drop a song titled What Do You Mean? where he rapped, Cause what do you mean? None of them boy are bad. AM's a f Neek. Skengdo's a f tramp. AM and Skengdo would reply to this song. They dropped a song also titled What Do You Mean? On this song they rapped. What on earth do you mean? 80 he already got splashed. Oh boy is a f Neek. The f cheek. They wouldn't stop there and would also rap on a song titled Attempted 2. Rapping. Cause what do you mean? None of them boy are bad. Oh boy's probably gay. Why you always chat bout man? Another member of Harlem Spartans would begin to make noise in the scene. This member being known as S.A. or Lats. He would appear on a song titled Most Wanted Tugs. However, before this song was released, he would sadly become a victim to the streets. On the 25th of July, 2018, a member of Harlem Spartans known as S.A. or Lats would ride out onto opposition territory with a Moscow 17 member. He would be riding on the back of a moped with a gun. Him and the Moscow 17 member would spot rivals and would attempt to shoot them. However, However, S.A.'s gun would jam, causing the rivals to attack him. S.A. would be stabbed multiple times. The driver of the moped would speed off with S.A. losing consciousness on the back of the bike, only a few miles away. The driver would actually push S.A. off the moped and would shout to nearby civilians telling them to take S.A. to hospital. However, sadly, S.A. would be pronounced dead on the scene, with police and paramedics. S. The, the moped gun would jam, causing the rivals to attack him. S.A. would be stabbed multiple times. The driver S. with a out onto opposition territory with a Moscow 17 member. He would be riding on the back of a moped with a gun. Him and the Moscow 17 member would spot rivals and would attempt to shoot them. However, S.A.'s gun would jam, causing the rivals to attack him. S.A. would be stabbed multiple times. Yo, them niggas do not be playing about that jam gun. That shit jam is lit. Yeah, nigga, we on you. <laughs> that shit is, yo, nah. That shit jam, we on you. <laughs> you see how my son did that shit in the, in the drill and shit? Drill and shit. BK, nigga, we smoking BK. <laughs> BK got smoked, nigga gun jammed, Pfft, you're done. Nigga said, what? <laughs> 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 gun jammed, nigga, you're done. 
Now, Leon was wildin'. Yeah, bro, your gun jam, you're finished. Done. <laughs> The driver of the moped would speed off with S.A. losing consciousness on the back of the bike, only a few miles away. The driver would actually push S.A. off the moped and would shout to nearby civilians telling them to take S.A. to hospital. However, sadly, S.A. would be pronounced dead on the scene, with police and paramedics. The nigga, the nigga on mans helped them die. Facts. He poked up on the back of the moped and you push him, push him off, off, nigga. You losing conscience. Once you touch the floor, it's over. Damn, he should have tried to get him to the hospital or something. Stopped, put him on the floor or something. Nah. He driving and pushed him over. That's crazy. X arriving shortly after. A murder investigation would be launched following this. This investigation saw a 150 member being arrested. However, he would actually beat the case due to him claiming self-defense. As S.A. tried shooting him, however, the gun jammed. On the same day S.A. died, shots would be fired into the houses of 410 members in retaliation for what happened to S.A. hours to earlier. Following the death of S.A., G. Smarco from Harlem Spartans would ride out onto 150 territory and would actually shoot a 150 member leaving him in critical condition. However, he would luckily survive. G. Smarco would quickly be arrested following this attack and would be handed 21 years in prison for attempted murder. If anything, this just shows how loved S.A. was, with people even claiming that the death of S.A. Nigga called 21 for an arm shot. You might get five years for that over here. <laughs> assault, nigga. Nigga was giving you five. You might get four or five years for shooting a nigga in the arm over here. First charge, you might get three and a half, four. Assault one. S.A. would cause the sad downfall of Harlem Spartans in the coming years, with the death of S.A. actually being the main reason that Harlem and Moscow would split. Rest in peace, Lats, or S.A. Following the death of Lats, 410 members Skengdo and A.M. would be handed a gang injunction. This I mean, Cal's got a two for sure, the nigga. What? Yeah, pay lawyer, but he got two years back in the day, two and a half, for sure, the nigga squirrel. That they got two years for a sore one. What? The gangster. Squirrel. The That's what he was. He was. Nah, 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 nah. The other nigga. Not squirrel. is squirrel. Nigga that was out here. Old head nigga. Booming niggas. But cows boomed. Yeah, cows. Cows boomed that nigga. Like, two years for that shit. He sat his ass down after he boomed him? Nah. I don't know where this girl at. He probably in jail. Stop them from making or performing <laughs> violent man. music. This injunction also prevented them from entering certain areas. Like, One of these areas would be Kennington. Movie. The main reason 16, this was handed 17, to them was because of a song they had released titled Attempted. Yeah, this song would gain a lot of attention, however, it would be taken down, although re-uploads still do exist. In January 2019, Skengdo and AM would be handed a suspended jail sentence after they performed Attempted, with this being the first time in British legal history that someone had been sentenced for performing their own song. It would only be be two months after Skengdo and AM would be arrested, that the most popular member of Harlem Spartans would also be arrested facing charges, this being Low Ski, who would be stopped by police whilst traveling in London around April 2019. He would be caught in possession of a revolver, however he wouldn't actually be sentenced until 2023. In 2023 he was given seven years in prison for the case, which is one of the biggest losses to UK drill. However, around 2019, a loved member of Harlem Spartans referred to as Biss would be dropping consistently and was even beginning to gain a fan base, as he was well known to have wrapped the iconic hook on Kennington where it started. However, sadly, Biss would fall victim to the streets with one of the saddest UK drill stories taking place. On the 5th of December 2019, Biss, who was a very well-known member of Harlem Spartans, would be shooting a music video for a song he released titled Beretta. This was recorded in Cambridge, and whilst Biss was on his way home with his friend, he would be on the phone with a rival who was mocking the death of Lats. Biss would demand an apology, however the person on the phone would refuse. Biss would then travel to Deptford in order to find the people on the phone. Biss would spot the members and would attempt to attack them. However, CP gang members known as Elijah Morgan and Jediah Param would fatally stab Biss. Police and paramedics would arrive on the scene he shortly after. So However, despite like paramedics' right, efforts, Biss would sadly die shortly after the attack How due to loss of blood as he had been stabbed around nine times. A murder investigation would be launched he following this, with night. both of the members being stabbed around he he stabbed attack would then be in Spartans. On the fifthly, Biss would fall victim to the streets with one rap Biss. Kate 20 would be caught in possession of a revolver. However, he wouldn't actually be sentenced until 2023. In 2023, he was given seven years in prison for the case, which is one of the biggest losses to UK drill. However, around 2019, a loved member of Harlem Spartans referred to as Biss would be dropping consistently and was even beginning to gain a fan base, as he was well known to have wrapped the iconic hook on Kennington where it started. However, sadly, Biss would fall victim to the streets with one of the saddest UK drill stories taking place. On the 5th of December 2019, Damn, Biss who was- That's on my birthday. 
Man, that nigga died on my birthday. Man. Fuck. A very well-known member of Harlem Spartans would be shooting a music video for a song he released titled Beretta. This was recorded in Cambridge, and whilst Biss was on his way home with his friend, he would be on the phone with a rival who was mocking the death of Lats. Biss would demand an apology, however the person on the phone would refuse. Biss would then travel to Deptford in order to find the people on the phone. Biss would spot the members and would attempt to attack them. However, CP gang members known as Elijah Morgan and Jediah Param would fatally stab Biss. Police and paramedics would arrive on the scene shortly after, however, despite paramedics efforts. Biss would sadly die shortly after the attack due to loss of blood as he had been stabbed around nine times. A murder investigation would be launched following this, with both of the members being sentenced to life with a minimum of 28 years. Rest in peace, Biss. Biss had a huge impact on Harlem Spartans, with the group fading out of relevance after the losses of Biss and S.A. Both of Biss's killers would be jumped in prison with them both being beaten up badly. Both of the members now have to be in medical or voluntary protection within the prison. Since the death of Biss, many members of Harlem Spartans have paid their respect, but you can tell these men are hurting, with Miz or Mac, who was a well-known Harlem Spartans member, even rapping. When I think about Biss, I scream, try go sleep, then I see Lats, which further proves this lifestyle isn't it. During 2019, 150 members would be gaining a lot of attention with rappers like M24, heavily dissing Harlem Spartans and gaining loads of attention from it. However, the violence wouldn't end there. In the second half of 2020, a member of 063 named JM would be chilling with a Harlem Spartans member known as Osav, as both of these sides were linked. Anyways. A 410 member would spot JM, and a fight would ensue. JM would start running down Oxford Street, however the 410 member would catch up and stab JM once, with it even being alleged O Sav would leave JM when the incident happened. Police and emergency services would arrive on the scene. JM would be rushed to hospital, however would die only two hours Damn. later. With police looking for the attacker, allegedly the 410 member and two others would be arrested following the incident. However, the 410 member would actually bust the case, and would be let free on the base of self-defense. Rest in peace JM. Now, now, following the death of JM, Harlem members would still be looking for retaliation for the death of Lats years prior. They would find their retaliation when a loved member of 150 named Bally would be caught by alleged Harlem and Serac members. On the 12th of September... It was crazy in New York, bro. You can't even get self-defense. You're just gonna die. You can't, like, a nigga come be in your crib, bring you in your crib, and you kill him, you go into jail. Ain't no nothing, like, just... Mm -hmm. But you going to jail, that shit is crazy. Yeah, he's double digits. They call it justification of murder, but they give a niggas 10 for that. 2021, a member of 150 known as Bally would be chilling with girls. However, what he didn't know was that rival members who were allegedly Serac and Harlem members would be riding out onto Brixton. They would spot Bally with two of the members shooting towards him. The girls he would be with would be hit by the oncoming bullets. However, they would luckily survive. Bally would also be hit, with Bally sustaining fatal wounds and being killed on the scene, with yet another murder investigation being launched. Only a day after the murder of Bally, SD, who was a Harlem Spartans member, and trapped from Serac would be arrested at the airport while whilst trying to go to Dubai, they would be arrested for the murder. However, both would be released shortly after due to insufficient evidence. Since then, no one has been arrested and the murder goes unsolved until this day. Whilst people often speculate who was responsible, we will never truly know until a full trial has taken place and someone has been charged. Rest in peace, Bally. Since the death of Bally, a member of Cuckoo known as Migo would be stabbed to death in a restaurant, with the entire incident being caught on CCTV. This was allegedly a get-back for the murder of Bally, with the death of Migo occurring only months after Bally was killed. Although I have also seen people speculating Migo's death was due to personal beef. Either way, rest in peace, Migo. Since the death of Migo and Bally, two other people linked to the beef have died. However, they haven't died directly due to the violence between the gangs, but instead, non-related incidents. Recently, an ex-BYM member named Knights would be stabbed to death by his own half-brother at his 30th birthday. His half-brother apparently was mentally ill. However, this doesn't justify his actions. Knights had managed to escape the streets, with him even becoming a well-known MMA fighter, which just makes this entire situation worse. Rest in peace, Knights. Recently, a member of Harlem Spartans named Wars. My ass, nigga. You think you about to put the MMA fighting on me? would also die, as he sadly died in a car collision around 2022, with it being alleged this was due to drinking and driving. However, I can't find if this is accurate. Either way, rest in peace, rest wars. In peace. Now this beef continues in the streets, with the music these gangs make often containing secret messages about what's really going on in the streets. However, in recent years, both gangs have fallen from how prominent they were in 2016 and 17. This is mainly due to a lot of the rappers from both sides either dying or going to jail, which is crazy as both 410 and Harlem 
Harlem Spartans have had an insane run in the UK drill scene. If you have learned anything from this video, make sure that it's to not involve yourself with the streets, as this life really doesn't lead to anything positive except jail or death. And one thing all of these members have in common is that they could have made legal careers. However, they got caught up fighting for postcodes that they don't even own, resulting in this endless cycle of violence. Rest in peace, everyone, in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Squeeze.